Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here, Kate from Pat Testing. Uh, going to talk to you today about these cables here, IECC7, or otherwise known as a figure of eight cable, a non-polarised one as well. So they can be plugged in to an appliance either way, uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. You'll find these cables on... CD players, radios, DVD players, such like um, things like that. It's a two core cable, so it's non earthed, double insulated, um, and you'll find these powering class two appliances. Uh, reading some forums and Facebook pages this week, and there was some chatter online about how to perform a pat test on a cable of this type. Um, and a, a couple of people were saying visual checks only. A couple of people were saying, well, you plug it into your machine and you test it the same as a, as like a kettle lead, like an IEC cable. Um, there's varying opinions on it. I'd be interested to know your opinion on it in the comments. Um, and while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and, and like the video as well. Um, my opinion on it um, is there is no physical test through your pat test machine um, that you can do for this cable all you can do for this cable to test it is a visual inspection um, and i'll tell you why in in a moment but but firstly the visual inspection on these figure of eight cables is especially important because there's quite a few substandard um, cables that don't meet the uh, required standards. Um, typically, you'll see um, on a lot of these figure of eight cables, you'll see a metal earth pin. Um, they come in plastic ones as well. It, it doesn't matter really either way. They come with metal ones probably for better better strength and things um, but you'll you often see on the substandard ones you'll see a sleeved earth pin um, like you see on the live and the neutral which which they should be sleeved on those two but you'll often see it on the in uh, on the uh, earth pin as well which isn't right they, they shouldn't be doing that um, and that often points to possible other uh, you know the cabling inside might be substandard the copper inside might be substandard um, and also then you normally get the full house and you'll open up the fuse cover and you'll find the 13 amp fuse in it these should have three or fives really they're only 0.75 um, I think in these having a quick look yeah I think there's 0.75 or 0.5 they should have a three or five amp fuse, but you pull the fuses out of these, they look a bit suspect, and then they fall apart in your hand. And it just it just shows you that you know that our Chinese um, friends have have made a substandard cable. There's no quality control on it. But apart from that, that's the only real test you can do. You can't really do any test through your machine. There was someone saying online this week that you do it as an IEC cable, but. The, the thing with that is you, you can't do an IEC continuity test, um, an earth continuity test, should I say, sorry, because it's only two core. So there is no earth provision in this cable. An insulation resistance test. Well, you could plug this in end into your PAT test machine if, if you like. Um, you can get online these adapters on eBay or Amazon or some of the pack test bundles that you buy when you buy a machine come with these as well. I think this is where I got this one from. This isn't a pack test adapter. If you plug that into there and then plug that into, into your machine and did an insulation resistance test, your machine, there's nothing there for your machine to pick up on because there is no earth provision. And, you know, there's only two cores connected in that plug. So your machine... You know, an earth resistance to, um, insulation resistance test is looking for any leakage to earth, but there is no earth because it's a two core cable. And also, polarity you can't do a polarity check with these because they're a non polar cable, a C7 non polar. You can get the polarized ones, you see them very rarely, but with these, they can be plugged in either way. So, there's you know, there's no point in doing a polarity check. These adapters just also can 
prove themselves quite dangerous. I've seen a lot of these set up where people will be using a two core non-earthed cable. They'll plug in this adapter and then they'll plug the other end into a class one appliance, which of course needs an earth. But if you're using a two core cable with no earth, then it's giving no continuity um, back through the socket. So if there was a fault with that class one appliance, it's giving no protection at all. So these, these adapters are actually, um, could be classed as quite dangerous. Um, just don't use them, just get rid of them, bin them. I've just kept it for demonstration purposes. Um, the only one that you do use is the clover leaf type that's got the three pins with the earth pin on it. You use that to test the um, earth continuity and insulation resistance on a on a clover leaf cable. I'll, I'll, I'll do that in another video, you can have a look at that. Um, the last thing I just want to chat about is these little cards here. Someone asked me about these the other day on my uh, Instagram page, uh, Cater and Pat Testing. And they asked me where I got them from. Um, you get them from electricalsafetyfirst.org.uk. I don't think they're actually dispatching at the moment. Uh, I think they're closed uh, because of the COVID lockdown, but hopefully that will change soon. And these little clever cards, um, you, you pop your plug through the holes there and it'll actually tell you whether your plug um, conforms to British standards. It'll actually tell you whether your plug is the right size. If you plug it in and you can see any of that red warning there, it, it the, the plug is too small, doesn't conform to British standards. And then on the other side here is, is a pin checker. So you can pop your earth pin up or your live and uh, your live pins there and it will actually tell you if the insulated sleeve is, is long enough. And it'll also tell you if your pins are the right length. Um, you can see there, there's quite a small tolerance. Um, it should be in that little tiny... Um, blue section there so there's a very small tolerance of what the pins are any of these eyes um uh cloverleaf cables um uh, sorry figure of eight cables excuse me any of these figure of eight cables that are substandard um they won't meet those checks on that card these are a couple of quid each get yourself a load um and that should help you out uh, if anyone's got any different opinions or you got any questions, stick it in the comments and we can have a chat on there. But that's my opinion on uh, the only checks you can do with a with a figure of eight um, C7 cable. If you've got any other questions, uh, you want me to do any specific videos um, about anything, uh, leave it in the comments, send me a message and uh, we can go from there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.